If you're to go to any freelancer that you look up to, who's successful, who's making a lot of money, doing what you want to do, if they're in the position you want to be in, nine times out of 10, they're going to tell you that their number one source of clients is referrals, word of mouth. As a matter of fact, if you were to go ask a large group of freelancers what their number one source of clients is, it's word of mouth. As a matter of fact, I went and I polled four different Facebook groups in four different industries, in the photography industry, the uh, music production industry, the videography, and then the graphic design industries. And all four Facebook group polls listed the number one source of clients is word of mouth. So when you see all of the successful freelancers around you saying that word of mouth is their number one source of clients, and you see all these Facebook group polls that are saying our number one source of clients as a group is word of mouth, then your natural inclination is to say, I will focus on word of mouth. I will rely on word of mouth advertising as my sole source, or at least my main source of clients for my business. And if that is you, friend, I am going to put my flag in the ground right now and say, unfortunately, that is a recipe for disaster. If you are sitting there right now and watching this video and your calendar is not already booked up 100% full with your perfect ideal client and you don't have a plan in place to fix that other than waiting on word of mouth clients to find you, then this video is for you. And in this video, I'm going to dispel the lie that is this toxic mindset of waiting for clients to find you and why that's a terrible idea for 99.9% .9 of freelancers. So let me address an elephant in the room. For those of you wondering, yes, you can get clients from word of mouth. Yes, you can book your calendar 100% full with word of mouth clients. And yes, you can make six figures a year, 100% from word of mouth referrals. So what is my problem with word of mouth? Why do I think it's toxic for freelance, the freelance community as a whole? Well, there are actually four major issues that I have with word of mouth advertising and the lies that are around that. And in this video, I wanna break those down. So let's dive into that. Issue number one, problem number one with word of mouth advertising is that you have absolutely no control over it. When a client comes to you because they were referred to you by someone else, word of mouth, that's generally how it works. This is not a strategy. It's not a plan. It is merely a result. The only thing you did was make that client happy. And that is literally the, the bare minimum you can expect to do as a freelancer. You have to make your clients happy. The result of making them happy is that they will sometimes refer clients to you. The problem is you have no control over that. You don't dictate when they refer other people to you. You don't dictate if they ever refer people to you. You simply wait around for it to happen. It is not something you can control and it is not something that you can just merely go out and get another word of mouth client because that's not how it works, unfortunately. The second issue that I have with word of mouth advertising for freelancers is that it is a slow build. It's something that takes years. It is a snowball that slowly grows every time you work with a new client and you make that client happy. It's something that slowly, slowly grows as you build a new relationship with a friend or a family member or someone in your circle. It takes time, it takes effort, it takes energy, but the one thing you can't just do is just go out and get a new client via word of mouth. Again, if you're new, tell me where to go out and just get a word of mouth client. I'll sit here and wait for you to tell me where that is. <laughs> doesn't exist. And if you think through the whole process of how word of mouth advertising works, it makes sense. You work with a client, you make that client happy. Eventually that client comes across someone else who needs your services. And then they let that person know about you. That's really the referral loop in a nutshell. And the problem with this is one person is not really that effective at word of mouth. Two people is a little bit more effective, twice as effective actually, but it's still not that effective of bringing new clients to you. What is it the average person going to bring to your business? It's this varies depending on what uh, niche you're a part of, but realistically, one person might bring in another person a year, one person a year, maybe sometimes they'll maybe bring nobody. Some mega people might bring in two or three people back to you as a referral in a year. So you can start to do the math yourself and see that it's going to take a lot of really happy clients before I'm ever going to actually get referrals, or it's going to take a lot of friends who really believe in me before I'm going to get the referrals that I need to stay booked up full time. So that's the second problem is it is a slow grind. It is a slow build for that word of mouth snowball. The thing about the word of mouth snowball is it is actually inevitable. If you're good at what you do and you do this long enough, eventually your main source of clients will be word of mouth. And this actually leads me to the third issue I have with word of mouth advertising is that something called survivorship 
bias. This is actually the main culprit behind why so many freelancers fall into this word of mouth trap. So to illustrate this point, there's a popular image from a World War II fighter plane that shows all of the areas that they found were being shot at during battles. That's all the places where the bullet holes were concentrated. And so the natural response of the military was, oh, we should actually put more armor over these areas because these are the areas that planes are being shot at. What they didn't realize is they were falling into something called survivorship bias. These were merely the planes that survived battles. These are the ones that made it home. So what they soon realized was the planes that made it home were actually showing you all of the spots that could be shot and still be capable of flying. So what they instead did was look at all the areas of the plane that didn't have any bullets, and those were likely the spots that they should add the extra armor to reinforce the plane. And so that's exactly what they did. So let's bring this back to the freelance world. If you're a freelancer and you look at all of the businesses that are saying word of mouth advertising is the best kind of advertising, these are merely the freelancers and the businesses that survived long enough for that inevitable word of mouth snowball to grow large enough to be their number one source of clients. Again, the word of mouth snowball, it is an inevitability. You will eventually get there over a long period of time. It is a slow slog through a lot of time, effort, and energy, but you'll eventually get there. And what you don't realize is that all the people you look up to are the ones who survived to that level. And so of course they're saying our number one source of clients are word of mouth. But what you're ignoring is the large pile of dead bodies that never made it to that point. The people who quit and gave up and went back to their day jobs because they bought into the lie that word of mouth is the number one way to get clients. They bought into that unfortunate lie. And that's the lie that so many people fall into. If I build it, they will come. If I'm good enough, I will get noticed. And unfortunately, that's called hope marketing, or another way of putting it is hopium. But unfortunately, that's not how it works. The best person does not always get hired, and hope marketing is not a plan. It is merely the lazy way out, which actually leads me to point number four, or problem number four that I have with word of mouth advertising, and that is it appeals to the lazy. If that sounds mean, I'm not trying to be, just bear with me. The natural human tendency is to avoid friction, avoid pain, avoid suffering. So when it comes to doing things that make us uncomfortable, we will avoid those if we can. So if we buy into the hope marketing lie and instead buy into this lie that if I'm the best, then I'll always get hired, then we're falling into this trap that allows you to be selectively lazy. I will just do the things that I love. I will spend hours and hours and hours honing my craft and watching YouTube videos and collaborating with others and making incredible art and doing all these fun things that fill my soul, but I'm going to selectively be lazy, if I'm being honest, and avoid the parts of the business that I don't really wanna do. I don't wanna do marketing because it feels icky. I don't wanna have to do this because it makes me feel uncomfortable. I don't wanna do that because it's just not part of who I am. Unfortunately, as a business owner, we all have to do things that don't make us comfortable sometimes, things that make us stretch outside of our comfort zones. And if you buy into the word of mouth lie, you're allowing yourself to be selectively lazy. Because if you just let all your clients do your marketing for you, You don't have to do anything uncomfortable, anything that challenges you. Is this starting to come together as to why word of mouth lie is something that's toxic for freelancers? Now at this point, I hope you're starting to see all of the big picture of why this is toxic for freelancers, why we can't just fall into this lie. And if you're nodding your head, you're starting to kind of come around and and agree with that. You're also probably wondering what is the better thing? What, What is the better solution to this? Because we all want to get there. We all want to have all of our calendar slots full, all of our calendar filled up as far as the eye can see with the perfect client. And we don't have to do anything for that. They just come to us. We all want that. Who wouldn't want that? But the problem is when we just rely on that and it's not happening, we're sitting around, we're waiting on hope marketing to kick in and it's not working. What is the better method? Unfortunately, the answer is simple. And it's something that's going to push you out of your comfort zone, but it's something you have to hear, unfortunately. And that is you need a marketing plan, an actual plan something that you can take action on, something that you control, something that involves steps that you can actually take. But really, let me back up even further than that. What what the heck is marketing anyways? Because that's a a complex subject. It means so many different things to so many different people. People see like Facebook ads of like gurus and people holding big wads of cash and they think, oh my God, I don't want to be that person. You don't have to be. Here's marketing in a nutshell. Marketing is giving the right message to the right person at the right time. That's it. This video is marketing. Believe it or not, this video is marketing. I am putting the right message, the message of 
hope marketing and word of mouth advertising is toxic to freelancers. To the right person, you, you're still watching this, you're the right person. At the right time, you probably need to hear this right now. This is marketing. This is part of my overall plan. It's not scammy. It's not scummy. It's not something that makes you feel cringy. If anything, it's adding value to you and hoping, hope, hopefully helping you open up your eyes to what's possible out there and what you need to do as a freelancer if you want to make it in this world. Part of my overall marketing strategy is to sit down every single week and produce a video like this. I also do a podcast episode for the Six Figure Creative Podcast as well. I create content like this that helps solve problems for people, which also builds trust with you, the, the viewer. And then I offer some sort of valuable thing in exchange for your email address. And once I get your email address, I will email you every week when I have a new YouTube video or we have a new podcast episode, further building trust, showing credibility, helping you solve problems. And then eventually you might purchase something from me, whether it's software, whether it's education, whether it's a live event or coaching or something else altogether. And if you never purchase something from me, chances are, if I'm genuinely adding value to your life, you will eventually refer other people to what I'm doing, my videos, my podcast, any products that I have, any services that I offer. You're probably gonna refer someone to what I'm doing. The difference between this and word of mouth advertising is that I have steps that I take every single week that will generate new business for me in the future. So my question for you is this, what steps are you going to be taking every single week? What actions can you actually take to drive your business forward instead of waiting for people to come find you? Do you have to do videos like this? Do you have to create content? Do you have to build an email list? Absolutely not. Most freelancers don't, and you can still be successful doing it that way. You can still do what I'm doing here, but on a one-to-one -one basis. I'm just doing it at a larger scale where I can talk to hundreds or thousands of people at the same time. Now, if you're starting to see how this all comes together, how a marketing plan is more than just hopium, more than just waiting for people to come to you, and you're not sure what steps you need to take next, then I wanna give you my guide on marketing plan for freelancers. I call it my five by one marketing method. And in this resource, I give you the five areas, the five parts of any good marketing plan. And then the one thing you should be implementing in each of those five places. If that sounds good, if you need a little bit of extra guidance on what to do from here, what sort of actions you can take. You're excited. You understand how this is starting to look and you need to actually find something to put into place because you're not sure how this even looks. Then go to sixfigurecreative.com slash marketing and you can get that resource for free. Again, that's sixfigurecreative.com slash marketing and I'll send you that resource right now.